All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to present you with a gentleman here from my village whom I have just managed to identify for the first time. He was involved since 1995. I know who the gentleman is, and um, that's quite extraordinary issue because the gentleman works in department for uh, people with a special needs. That's basically where Milan Kutin also started to investigate institutions, also in Ljubljana, uh, where he could possibly institutionalize me upon my departure to the United States of America in 1995. Before I get to this issue, uh, the first thing I want to do is present you with location of our residence and of a gentleman who moved from Ljubljana to Novomesto, where he inherited uh, a property from his aunt. This is an older gentleman, he already now is retired, but hey, it's my MK Ultra case that went on for no less than 33 years, actually, it goes on for 33 years now. So what you see here is the city of Novo Mesto. And I did spoke to you already about how they were trying to institutionalize me into a facility located in the Novo Mesto for the people with the special needs. When I departed to United States of America in 1995, uh, and if the internet is going to give me a, a chance to demonstrate it to you, somehow I have no idea what's going on. Trust me. Now I'm going to change the wireless to landline like this and see if this is going to do any better but basically I need a connection which is going to give me an option to zoom myself in and zoom myself out and at present that's not available for whatever reason they also guaranteed me that it will be the case with my laptop but you know for whatever reason you can already do it That should be a faster connection, and it's really taking him a very long time to get anywhere. Now let's see what the connection is like. This is a very fast connection, the internet connection is good. Now, I got an option to use to zoom myself out and in from the city of the Novo Mesto. On a greater scale, I can demonstrate you a capital city, Ljubljana. Oh, the Novo Mesto is a little town located between Ljubljana and Zagreb. And Zagreb is the capital of Croatia, and so that's right here. <clears throat> the internet really, really sucks. It's terrible. And I have no idea why. I, I made an assumption that this got something to do with the wireless, but <clears throat> maybe it's got something else to do with RAM, ROM, whatever the situation might be. So th this here, this is basically our residence here. Okay, right here, this is our residence, <clears throat> as you would go to the center of this village.
this here, this is his property. And <clears throat> this is basically what he inherited from his aunt. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate you a real problem I have or what is related to the phone hacking because there's no other explanation for this phenomena by presenting you the file which I have used to yeah, there's actually another issue that I might have skipped and not consider but hell man in this case this is the only explanation I can see it. yeah I am mistaken what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see now what the situation is with this this should have been the last file. So I'm going to try to play with the. Uh, <clears throat> just with the media player. We couldn't open. We couldn't open record. Whatever. 1369 I got that message let's see if I can open 1368 <laughs> I don't know anybody normal that would want to be able to the game Okay, cool. <clears throat> it's all good. Mm. Nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this one. So this is this is like a really, really groundbreaking procedure for me, for me to have a capacity, ability to actually identify uh, a gentleman that worked inside of the apartment for the people with the special needs. But the thing is that all the facility, such facilities, uh, Milan Kuchan involved, started to look for the place where he would institutionalize me all over Slovenia. His final conclusion on negotiations in respect to the nuclear arsenal of Ukraine beginning in 1993 he started to engage in terror against me concluded in 1994 that uh, promised me that he will destroy me because I insisted Ukrainians to keep weapons uh, opposed to what he ordered me to gesture them to return them back to the Russian Federation so this is basically audio recording. I went for a walk. I just did it. This just happened right now. This is April the 27th, 2023. And this is really, really groundbreaking because it proves the involvement of the facilities throughout Slovenia. Facilities with the special needs, my presence in those facilities. And this is Ljubljana. Yeah, 
Die lo mis el ateotis? Ja. Ja. So you know what that means? <laughs> that means that I have identified a gentleman I never ever should have had at his workplace during my stay in the United States of America. What that means is that I identified a gentleman who worked with the department, with the people with the special needs, uh, by pointing out even the position that he held, that he was the main person over there, that he was a big boss there. What that means further is that I pointed him out that he attended the university uh, next to work, like you would go in the evening school, or whatever you want to call that. Um, not only that he completed the university, but I also pointed out that he completed the university um, next to his work, next to his job he did, okay? And you're talking about Ljubljana, not Novomest, and you're talking about the time during which I sure enough did stay in the United States of America. So this, under no circumstances, should have been a case. It just did happen that I did prove knowing him as well. <laughs> Okay, so this is like really, really uh, poorly doing this uh, program here. And since, of course, I don't need the internet anymore, I am going to unplug this thing here. I have never seen anything like this. Anything like this, never have seen anything like this. And I want to make sure that I do this. Where the hell would this stuff come from? I just look what it looks like. It did not amplify one, but it colored one instead. Now, however, it did. Okay, so now, tell you what, let's hear this audio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So many people, man, and so much happening. Here's I'm going to play an audio. I went for a walk and I did a hell of a good job. What is interesting about this man is I did not even know. I did not know who he was. In terms wise, uh, I had no idea. I, I would just pass the village. And we would never meet. You know what I mean? Roma? Never. One is in MK Ultra. He is still on the faculty of the University of Spolnen. Yes, I am not sure. Yes, I am not sure. 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 I am not Yeah. 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 The people with a special need. Roma? Ti si chupa na faculteta, na universo se spomnim. Ja, tudi maj, si maj, maj, si mogu. Ah, I said, hey, Roman, that's his name, you went on a university, you attended the university on a faculty, I remember this, and she said, yeah, a little bit I had to. Yeah, 
he didn't want to give any kind of signal anything like this but I continued uh, from what he stated uh, I easily could take this as a yeah a little bit I did go but it was not a little bit it was actually quite a lot and he did continue I continue I tell him you know it wasn't about like you go uh, through the grammar school through the high school and then through the university but I told him yes but it wasn't you did this uh, afterwards after you already uh, you know became older and he agrees and I tell him and I see, I see, I, I tell, you tell him, I know. And uh, you also became a big boss over there. I don't know what he said. He said that he was a lead of, head of the, some kind of BBC or something like that. Um facility for people with a special needs, some department, uh, and worked as a therapist and so on. Yeah. So I totally, totally identify one. He also says he was a boss and... Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Huh? So he says, that's nice, he says. Roman, yes, yes, Bensoni, Okay, I'm going to play you an audio one more time, and that's about it. It's a short audio. This is very, very groundbreaking stuff. That's a very, very groundbreaking stuff. You know? That's the ground. Roma, you see, you can have a cool day for the universe as a spawn. Okay. So I am going to connect myself to the internet again. This is a health professional. Um, whom I have identified, have worked 41 years in the city of Ljubljana. Inside of the facility with the people with uh, for the uh, people with the special needs and uh, I'm really really pleased I uh, don't know what else to say about this stuff here this is just fantastic from my village this is just a few meters ahead from our house I don't know 100 meters back in the map to demonstrate you where Mr. Milan Kuchan Mr. Borat Pahor guaranteed me I'm going to end it up as a punishment for departure to United States of America. This is where they have my father right now.
and this is where they wanted to put me inside in 1995. That's also a department for the people with a special need facility, but in Nova Mesta. This is what Milan Kuchan told me upon return from the Ukraine in 1993 uh, on behalf of Russians that he will actually zip my throat through exactly what I demonstrated you. And I did waste it no less than 33 years on Slovenian politicians such as Milan Kuchan, but unfortunately I have to say Janez Janša also participated in negotiations in Ukraine. It was not only Milan Kuchan, it was also other politicians from Slovenia who traveled to Moscow, such as Janez Janša and so on. So this is this is an ultimate leech inside of the Slovenian politic who present himself as a opposition to Milan Kuchan for 33 years. This individual sit on my grave. I'm just going to relate you to this video here. And indeed, the only politician American in the end of this negotiations who sided with me that Ukraine should never surrender its weapons to the Russia was no other than Richard Nixon. Everybody else bent down on its knees in front of Russians, all American politicians. It was all done on behalf of British royals. Here we're talking about the Prince Charles and Prince Andrew who demanded complete compliance with the Russians from American administration. And this is actually how Ukrainians gave up on their nuclear arsenal in 1994. This is what you will be looking for if you want to learn more about it, yeah? So Milan Kuchan wanted me dead, basically. He wanted me dead because I opposed to him and I opposed to Russians from obtaining Ukrainian nuclear arsenal. I basically opposed to the war, to the bloodshed, to the massacre we see today throughout Ukraine. Thank you very much for watching this video. I obtained this video about an hour and a half so ago. Today's date, you can see it right here. And I'm an individual who supports my claims with the facts and exactly zero lies.